Hey folks, welcome to WhatsApp. Welcome back to yet another video. So in this video, we will understand about option selling strategies. So uh, we will not just look about, uh, you know, what are strategies, uh, the straddles and strangles. Obviously, we will have a quick gist about it, what are straddles and what are strangles. But we will also understand ki, uh, on various market conditions, what are better? Straddles are better or strangles are better. Okay, so watch the video till the very end and we will continue this video in English because we have been posting a lot of Hindi videos. So this one video will be in English and then again we will start posting in Hindi. So, you know, we will keep our uh, the videos on channel in a combination of both Hindi and English. So most of the audience uh, is benefited from our content. So let's start this video by understanding what are straddles and strangles. So simple option selling is, it, it looks very easy, but it is easy. But, you know, one thing about options writing is that, you know, one one big move, it, it wipes out the consistent p &L that you have made uh, over the years. So what is straddle? Straddle is a simple option selling strategy wherein you sell same strike price call and put option. So if I'm creating a 17400 straddle, a short straddle, what my strategy will be? My strategy will be I will sell a 17400 call and I will sell a 17400 put and that will give me a payoff which will look something like this. Okay, so to create a custom strategy, you can go to architect, select something from the inbuilt strategy. So oscillate. Yes, so it doesn't require me to tell you that the option selling strategies are about, you know, the market oscillating. So over here you can select oscillate, select short straddle and just save it. Okay, so you will get to see PNN on what various levels of uh, Nifty, how much profit or loss you will make. Now, what, what, what is the mechanism of this strategy? So this mechanism of the strategy is that, you know, if market remains between the range of premium that you have received till the expiry, you will end up making profit. Okay. Meaning in this scenario, you have got roughly 130 rupees of premium. The premium inflow from both of the legs has been 130 rupees. So 130 rupees on the downside and 130 rupees on the upside is something what you are protected if you are deploying this strategy. If the market closes or expires anywhere between the 130 points range, you will end up making profit. Hey traders, Quantsap has simplified option trading analytics for you. Click the link in the description box below, complete your sign up process and access the most advanced option analytical tools in the entire industry. Thank you. Okay. Now the second type of strategy is uh, short strangles. Only difference is you go ahead and sell different strike price options. So let's say you will sell 17600 call and you will sell 17100 put and that will create a straddle a strangle okay so only difference is the name of the strategy straddle will have uh, like a v payoff and uh, ulta v payoff and the strangle will have more like a flatter payoff so let me just show you now so this is the straddle so let me just reset it architect architect custom strategy sell add leg put okay so this is a strangle okay so now why there why there are two different types of strategies why there is a strangle and why there is a strategy so you know looking at the various market conditions and one of the simplest market condition is on what day we are placed on the expiry curve? How far is the expiry in which uh, we are looking to write options? Okay. So for that, we will first quickly understand the concept of theta. So what is theta? Theta is nothing but the decay in premium due to passage of one day. So what this is trying to tell you, the 11 rupees theta decay on call and put side, that if you sell this straddle, okay, which is if you sell 17400 call and put both, 11 rupees will be deducted from call side and 11 rupees will be deducted from put side. Okay. So that and around 20 rupees is something what the, the premium will be decayed from this strategy if you are holding that strategy for one moment. Now this theta decay 
the more far away you go from the expiry. Okay, so now if you are, let's say, writing on 27th of April expiry, the theta is down to 4 rupees, right? So in the current expiry, the current weekly expiry, the theta is as high as 11 rupees. But on the monthly expiry, the theta is just 4 rupees. Now, before you write options in the far monthly expiry, in expecting that the premium out there is very high, okay, that the premium that out there is very high, then just consider the fact that the profit that you are going to make from the premium that is decaying, that is very less for the monthly expiry. Okay, so uh, there is a lot of myth in the market that yahan par 200 rupees mil raha. you are getting 200 rupees here, but in the current expiry, you are just getting 66 rupees or combined 130 rupees, right? And over there, you are getting double or maybe even more than that. But the theta TK tells you that the current expiry will give you more profit as compared to the far expiry. That answers the first question that when should you write options? So the theta component tells you the right options very close to expiry, okay? The, the closer you are expiry, uh, the closer you are to the expiry, better it is to write options, okay? Why? You will make faster returns. Understand one thing and stick this to your walls if you have heard it, uh, you know, anywhere that more premiums means more profit for option seller. It is not the case. It is actually the theta component which is giving you money. So if you want to write options, premium is not your profit, right? It is not entirely writer's profit. It involves IVs and it involves the direction impact as well. But theta is something what is your profit, okay? If anything happens in the market, if anything doesn't happen in the market, this is something what you will take away. First thing, the first takeaway, the better it is to write options closer to the expiry. Second thing, if you are closer to the expiry, prefer writing straddles, okay? You will prefer writing straddles, number one reason for that. You are getting a better profitability, okay? You are getting a better profitability. Second thing, if you sell 17,600 and 17,100, which is a roughly 13 rupees premium that you are receiving, what will be your stop loss? Your stop loss would be uh, 25 rupees or 22 rupees, okay? That stop loss can get triggered quite often because you have written strangles, right? In expectation that this will eventually turn to zero, but writing those options is a dysfunctional risk, okay? What I mean by this is these options can double, triple very, very quickly because they have almost gone there to zero. Instead, prefer writing ATM options, okay? When you are closer to the expiry, okay? When you are closer to the expiry. If you are far away from the expiry, let's say you are placed on today's day and you want to write monthly options, okay? Just say you want to write monthly option for intraday. Then you will prefer strangle, okay? Why you will prefer strangle? If you just look at theta DK, it is 4 rupees. It is 3.8 rupees. It is almost the same, right? It is just 20 paisa ka difference between a uh, ATM and 17,600. So why you should take a uh, undefined risk over there, right? Why should you take a heavier risk over there? So instead of that, prefer selling strangles when you're far away from the expiry, okay? So two things, write options closer to the expiry. If you're writing closer to the expiry, then prefer straddles, but still, if you want to write options far away from the expiry, then strangles are much more better option. Okay. Now coming to one simple indicator, which will tell you how lucrative your option strategy is. So I generally use it just to measure it. Okay. Go to indicators and search for ADX. Okay. Sorry, not ADX, ATR. I'm so sorry. ATR, average true range. What it is doing, it is trying to show us the average true range, okay, the average range of Nifty in last 14 days, okay. So it is a 14 period. I do it on a daily chart. So do it on a daily chart generally because you are writing option at least for a day, okay. And just see, ki what is the average range in which Nifty is moving? So average range in which Nifty is moving is 200 points, okay. So now, you know, just see if the strategy is able to beat that range, okay. Just check if the strategy is able to beat that range. 
if the answer comes out to be yes then you know that that is one of the most lucrative strategy or one of the most lucrative option selling strategy what you can practice okay so if it is simple if i am getting a cover of 200 points on the up and the down side i am interested to go ahead with this strategy if not i will keep on shifting my range broader and broader okay how can i do it i can do it simple using you know going more out of the money options and that will give me a lucrative range to write okay so yes folks i would say that was it from my side thank you so much for joining me up till here bye bye take care and happy trading